What's going on guys, Dylan DeFazio here with DeFazio Vapes and in this video what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is how to change the coil on my T-Priv. Now I'm a beginner, you know I just started vaping not too long ago, only been a couple weeks here and when I first got started I messed up on the first couple times uh, changing my coils so I want to make this video so that you guys don't go through some of the same mistakes that I went through when I changed my first coil. I'm gonna take you firsthand into showing you how to disassemble it, how to clean it, how to dry it properly, and how to put it back together and then test to see if it's actually working. So let's jump into it right now and I'll show you guys exactly what you should be doing when you're changing your coil. Now, we are using the T-Priv but you can use this method for any detachable coil. So all you gotta do to detach it from the battery pack is simply unscrew it, and then we just got the battery, and now we have our Baby Beast uh, tank, which we're gonna go through and change this coil on the inside. So let's jump in. All right, so let's jump right into it. A couple things that you guys are gonna wanna have handy is, first off, you're gonna wanna have a towel, and you're gonna to wanna to have a, just a simple hair dryer and obviously a sink. So I'm gonna set the camera up here and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, what to do and then when I start cleaning it, I'll throw some music on so you don't have to listen to the water. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply detach our coil and you wanna make sure you do this over the sink. If you have any juice left, you're gonna, uh, you can either use a cool little canister like this which by the way guys, if you want any of this, uh, any of these tools or things to help you change your coil, you can grab them through the link in the description below this video. So we got our little coil here. So what I recommend doing is you wanna open it up and we're going to rip this top piece off. And then what I recommend to do, we'll put these up here what I recommend to do is just to unscrew the bottom section. Okay, so that's gonna unscrew the coil. There you have the coil. See, it's getting a little dark. We need to change it. And then you got your juice left over, and we're just gonna dump it in here. All right, so now that's done. So now all we have to do to detach this is we're gonna unscrew the glass. So we'll take the glass off and then we wanna get rid of this old coil. So we're just gonna unscrew the old coil from the base. There you go, old coil. You guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but you can see how dirty it is. And you just wanna, you know, that's, that's what you don't want in yours. It's gonna start tasting burnt. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then we're going to, I like to detach the mouthpiece and then we're going to open up the, open up the tank itself and we're going to take this little rubber piece out because we're going to clean up under there. We don't want any leftover juices or residue or anything like that. So now all we have to do is wash everything. So I'm going to play a little bit of music while I run some water and we'll see you guys after this is all cleaned. Everything's all clean. We got it on our towel. Now what we need to do is simply go through and blow dry everything. Now be careful, some of the smaller pieces will try to blow away on you, so you will wanna hold them. What I recommend doing is getting another towel, putting it in your hand, and then blow drying over the towel so you don't burn your hand. All right, guys.
Now that we have the everything dry and ready, what we want to do is we want to grab our I'll grab our new coils. Now what I have here, I'm going to open it up for you guys, as well as our new juice. So in this test, I'm going to be using the Blue Sky Bitch. Now this is uh, supposedly supposed to taste like Blue Freezy. So we'll see exactly how it tastes here in just a minute when I get this new coil installed. So let's jump over and I'll show you guys the reassembly plus adding the new coil. All right guys, so we're gonna grab our new coil out. We're gonna pop it down here. So this is our new coil. So this one is a 40, uh, it's a 0.4 ohm. I don't know if you guys can see that, 0.4 ohm. And we can run it at, what does this one say here? 55 to 60 watts. So let's see if we can uh, get a good picture. 55 to 60. So what I recommend doing is, and this is going to be the easiest way for you guys to do it, I recommend grabbing your bottom piece and screwing the coil into the bottom piece. So we'll screw this in. Make sure to backtrack your thread so you get it nice and straight. And she should screw in nice and simple. Okay. So there we go. We got that all screwed in nice and tight. Now what I like to do is we're going to open up our new juice. Okay. Open it, let some air in, and then give it a good shake. Now what I can tell you is it 100% smells exactly like a blue freezy, which is pretty awesome. So what we want to do now is we want to grab a little bit of juice. We're going to dump it in here. And then you want to go down on each coil airflow. Okay. And then give it a little bit of a blow. So there you go. And now what I like to do is then we're going to put the we're going to put the bottom piece on. I like to give it a blow once the bottom piece is on so that you can add a little bit more into the top. This is going to speed up the process so you don't have to wait too long. And then we are done. So now what we want to do is we want to grab our top piece and we're going to screw it on. Make sure it's lined up nice and straight. Okay, so now that that's on nice and straight, grab it, give it a good twist, righty tighty. So that's going to give it nice and uh, nice and tight on the top. And then what we want to do is we want to put back our little rubber piece. So the best way I found to do this is to put the closest side in first. And then you can grab a butter knife and just simply push that side down with that butter knife just to make sure it's all even. You don't want no pieces sticking up. So there we go. That's all done. We'll close that. We'll put the top piece back on and then we're done. So now what we want to do is you want to open the airflow tank just a tiny crack not too much we're going to open up the top piece we're going to grab our juice and then just put it in the edge leave a little bit of room to breathe and then we're going to fill her right to the top all right so now that it's full what we want to do is we want to close our tank and you want to take five hauls into your lungs with the uh, with the tank closed now what that's going to do is it's going to pull it into the coil and then what I recommend doing is letting it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then taking it uh, and attaching it to your battery. So let's take five hauls and then we'll let it sit and I'll see you guys after.
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take five quick hauls from this. We're going to let it sit. We'll put it back on the battery and then I'll get back to you guys after this is sit for 20 minutes. All right, guys, five hauls. We'll put it back on the battery pack and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Do a little truck vaping. So what I've done, uh, as you guys have seen, we changed the flavoring and the coil inside of the T-Priv. So we are using vaporated uh, Blue Sky Bitch. If you guys wanna get access to it, there'll be links in the description below where you guys can get access to either the T-Priv, any of the Baby Beast tanks or juices, and we have a store-wide 10% off discount. So what I recommend when you first change your coil is to open your air uh, about 50% for the first couple of vapes and make sure to vape it on the lowest wattage. So all the coils will say on them what the wattage range is. This one is a 40 to 80. So when we get started, we want to gradually start from 40 and gradually up that to the uh, to the recommended. So this one is best between 55 and 65. So we wanna get it to, uh, I, I would do about 57, kinda in the middle of those two. And then we wanna slowly open our airflow all the way up. So let's take a couple hits off of it and see how the taste is and stuff like that. Okay, so I was told that this tastes like Blue Freezy and it definitely does 100% uh, taste like Blue Freezy, which is awesome. I did do the Sour Patch Kids before this. That is a, another good flavor. I have my, uh, so I have my Patchy Drips here. If you guys wanna check that out as well. That's a very, very good flavor, but uh, this is really good as well. So let's slowly, uh, I have tested this. I have taken a couple hits of it. So I'm gonna open the tank up and put it up to uh, 57 and we'll give her a, we'll give her a hit. Now this is the recommended temp uh, in between 55 and 60. So that's what we want to be doing it at. So we're at 57. Okay, so 57 is good, not too hot, not too cool gives good vapor production. Definitely check this stuff out, guys. I really enjoy this flavor. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure, stay tuned, give it a subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Make sure, check the links in the description below if you guys want any of these goodies or anything vape related. Vapor DNA is my number one recommended source to getting all your vapey goodness online so hope you guys enjoyed this video again give it a thumbs up if you did let me know if this helped you in the comment section below as i'll be creating some more videos to help you guys get better at vaping i'll also be answering some questions with you as well so i hope to see you guys in the next video that's it for this one have a great day